Golden Bogey. I am insuperably lazy and this makes me proud. Midnight in Derby, a new suburb of Melbourne where Fitzleroy used to be. The Bacchae pass by my window with their paraphernalia cocks, I wonder, oh Sakoi Bacons, Incubus and Succubi, whom shall we be tearing apart tonight? Because what, alas, is there to do? Anyone can snap the branch of an apple tree. I want to put my juicy tattoo on the breast of the dizzy pulque plant, the mother goddess herself, to tease the wrath of the gorgon, whose sap is not flammable but explosive, whose forgiveness is stinging. Commission graffiti never as good as the rough stuff. We like the rough stuff. Sacrificial jingo of the golden bogey. The Royal Botanical Gardens, a giant phantasmagoria of chlorophyll, blended by a couple of European extremists. A paradise authorised by Count Ferdinand von Müller, then updated in taste by William Guile Ifoyle. The satiric Art Deco garden Melbourne deserves, though I must confess, I too have used it as an apparatus of seduction. All the plants have had their teeth removed, the awesome moor of the vegetative gut sewn shut, gazetted nuptials and loungy rites of fertility, the radical absence of stone idols, no golden bogies, contrapuntally placed apart from the rat laneways of Russian Collingwood, Chelsea and Fitzroy and Carlton, Edinburgh. You see, it is designed to make a little monarch out of every Victorian with a threepenny piece, a bologna sandwich, and a wormless apple.